This is a place of healing. This is a place where you can talk about your past. Tell us what that guy did and on. Did he touch you? <laughs> he touched you, he didn't touched. he? I don't know if it qualifies as a that guy or that GM, but I flipped out when some fuck nugget put a slice of pizza on one of my books. Plates exist for a reason. That's bullshit. Oh, so yeah, no, you can suck the That's balls. just being a dick. Yeah, that is being a dick. No. It's, more, it's more just like, you're born in a fucking field or what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Murder should be an acceptable punishment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. DM. Okay, roll your stats and allocate them. Making a bard, charisma is the highest. Okay, now reverse all of those and there is your permanent stats. What a fucking call, sucker. No, he did that with everyone. Literally no one was effective or had <laughs> any fun. I don't know, is that a way to like, get rid of min-maxers? I don't know, but it sounds bullshit. It does sound <laughs> fucking bullshit, you know. Dragonborn PC drank a gallon of ale. Somehow managed to avoid passing out. Stumbled out into the street. Tried to steal from the church's collection plate. Was caught and kicked out. Made his way into the street again where he managed to use his ice breath to freeze someone's dog to death oh, for fuck's sake, man. before finally passing out in the road and nearly drowning in a puddle. <sighs> Rogue trader with new grip at university. Guy shows up late. Easily, no joke. £400. Needs a cane to walk. Has a fedora, glasses, the works. Wait, no, no. Are you telling me he was Somebody in university? <laughs> And he was walking with a motherfucking cane. <laughs> I like to think it was a pimp stick. Can we imagine it was a pimp stick instead? Stinks to heaven. Even so, we want to be nice. Rolling up characters. Does anyone want to be the rogue trader? Put my hand up. Anyone else? Silence. One hour into first mission. We're trying to salvage some ships from a space hulk after our fleet gets wiped running out of oxygen, and fighting a running battle with orcs. He runs off by himself because he wants his own ship and wants to be captain of it. I thought you didn't want to be a rogue trader. I don't. I'm just a void master. For the fuck's sake. What the fuck is a void master? I don't know. 40k ships need crews in the tens of thousands. We are already unsure how we are going to pilot one of the ships with just 10 or so people. He wants to do it by himself. Managed to get one ship free, piloting away undetected. Declares he is going to start firing at the Space Hulk. What the fuck? Is already rolling. Because he's a Void Master, somehow he manages to fire the ship weapons single-handedly. Bullshit. <laughs> Multiple contacts on Dratus. It's the Cylons. We initiate emergency warp jump to escape. Warp is all kinds of fucked because of the Space Hulk and it just came out recently. We don't have a navigator, so we wind up in the middle of nowhere. Initial mission planned to last maybe two sessions, stretches out to five, because this cunt keeps fucking doing shit that occasionally backfires to be in charge, but then swears he doesn't want to be the rogue trader. Ugh, oh, you know, it's one of those ones, it's like, see when you show up and you just want to get through it, can we not just fucking get through it? I know, please. You know, I, I don't know, I don't know, it's definitely, it's one of those ones, see if you come across someone with a fedora, you just know. <laughs> it's a lack of self-awareness, I think, yeah. that a, a fedora entails, Yeah. you know, because you just know you're going to get fucking mocked, Yeah. you know? Well, they added, he eventually stopped showing up because the university started paying for his housing in a fucking four-star hotel on the other side of the city. But that meant he couldn't get to university because he was so fucking fat that travelling across a small city on public transport, which he also gets for free, was a four-hour journey for him. I'm going to assume they sent him off to live on the other side of the city for sexual misconduct. Yeah. Tell me it wasn't sexual misconduct. <laughs> it was fucking sexual misconduct. It's always sexual misconduct. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but today's sponsor is brought to you by Neckbeardia's 3D printed models. Go ahead and check out the eBay store down below. We have tons and tons of really cool looking models. We've got it all from orcs, dwarves, the lizards and fish people. And yes, most of the sets you can get some big bitty bitches in with them. <laughs> And honestly, they're our biggest sellers. Yeah, by far. Yeah. All the models are printed and processed by us, and it is by far the best way to help us out to do what we do. So go ahead and check them out below, and just just look at this lizard lady with titties. She got big titties. <laughs> look at the titties! 
I also have a story about a furry no mates. Guy is in our game set in Greco-Roman times. Talks non-stop about how the spear was like the king of the battlefield and anyone who uses anything else is inhistorical. DM's girlfriend plays with us. Plays a female character. Fatty is not happy with this. Unlike Assassin's Creed, we don't claim to be historically accurate, but he won't let it go. From the moment his character meets her, he goes out of his way to act like shit to her, asks her to bring him food and drink, makes sexual comments. In character, it wouldn't be a problem if he hadn't been such a cunt outside of the game and exposed his motivations. Starts casually dropping comments about rape. (laughs) Why does it always come back to the sexual misconduct? You know women like you just need a good raping to get back in line. At this time, she would have been raped twice over by now. It's just how it was. Don't want to ask him to leave because that's not a solution. That's avoiding a problem. Eventually, he declares that his character is so drunk he can't be held responsible for what he does. (laughs) Uh, Had to kick him out when he started yelling that we can't tell him what he's not allowed to do and if he wants to rape someone else's character in-game, he should be allowed to. DM's girlfriend seemed pretty unfazed by it, but wasn't arguing to let him stay either. Haven't seen the guy since. Happened around 2015. (sighs) Normally, I wouldn't have, like, a big spiel to pull here but he is kind of right about the fucking spear being the kick of the battlefield but maybe not for you know maybe for the good maybe, maybe not about rape <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe not about the rape but like you know uh, but also no honestly I've came across so many of them people that like to, you know whenever you use all like, historically hit, accurate yeah, it's like just fucking whenever you use like play. a historical like backdrop for your game and then it's like no we have to do it this way just play no game. magic there's nothing like, fuck, it's like fuck me can we not just play the fucking game man I know like seriously what am I doing saying man I Jesus know Christ. First time that guy is playing. Level 1. That guy playing a neutral good lolly cleric. Oh. Oh, why is that? <laughs> okay, okay, fucking hmm. keep going. That guy takes main quest item. A potion to fix petrification. And hides it. What the fuck, bro? We need to give that to the cleric. My voice sounds so wrong saying bro. 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 <laughs> Do the hand sign. <laughs> you know that. Look, I'll do it up on yeah. screen. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> Radical bro! <laughs> DM lets the rest of the party make a new potion with the same properties. Session is ending as we get back to the town. That guy tells the DM they are going to sneak out and try to extort the cleric NPC. That guy gets kicked out of the game. Complains to me that he should be allowed to since it's not against the rules of D and D. All right, okay. Just because it's not against the rules, just still. I don't even want to get into that. No, that's let's not. Let's move on. <laughs> just before game, everyone is ordering pizza. I don't like pizza. Okay. Well, is there anything else on the menu you, you like? No. Okay. Where do you want to order from? Chinese food place. Okay. We'll order from there. What do you want from the Chinese place? He asks for a oh, fucking pizza. Jesus Christ, what is wrong with oh, people? Why are people but, difficult just for the sake that of is, being difficult? That is difficulty for the sake of it. Like, seriously, sort your fucking life out. I, 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 you know I, that, who that is? What? That's people who suck from their ma's teddy up until they're f- four or five years old. Yes, it is. That is most definitely exactly the type of character. And their mum's that... like, oh no, I'm weaning him. And oh, jeez, no. The no. child's like five coming out of school going, mummy, milky. <laughs> <laughs> Join a game. It's session two. Get description of what's going on. We're tracking down what sounds like a GOO cult looking to take over a small town to call upon a bigger being. Roll up a sorcerer. We're all third level. Decide to go divine soul. As a clergyman from a neighbouring town sent to investigate what's going on. Meet up with a party. A fighter. Town sheriff. Rogue. A thief who agreed to be released to help figure this all out. And a druid. A local medicine woman rumoured to be a witch. Sounds exactly like the kind of game I wanted. Nothing crazy over the top, grounded characters. Three sessions in, things are getting worse. Cultists turning into aberrations and wrecking shit, causing riots, etc. We get in a fight with a handful of cultists and aberrations. I'm in the back, jumped on by a man with a heavy club. Thief who was in melee disengages. Can't reach to me so he throws a dagger. It natural ones. DM at this point declares natural one range attack hits me automatically. Says to roll again and see if it crits me. It does. 
I get insta killed. <sighs> what the fuck? Fuck's sake. Twin protection from evil and good goes down. Fighter and thief gets killed by riders. Druid wild shapes into a mice to escape. Gets stomped on and killed. Leave game. <laughs> that was such a shit shit. <laughs> oh, see, that's not much of a that guy moment. No, but, uh, it just it, sounds like a complete shit show. Shit show and party kill. <laughs> Playing Numenera, and we're showing up with blind characters. I.e., the DM has no idea what we're playing as. Introducing ourselves one by one. Me, Grug, from Berry Tribe, have big club. Me, Grug, also Berry Tribe, bigger club. Me, Grug, former Apple Tribe, now Berry Tribe. All of us are literal club wielding cavemen. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that Grug, me, mom. His campaign idea was largely set around the war between two cities and trying to negotiate some kind of truce to deal with a bigger threat. And as you can imagine, that didn't go well. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, sweet, no, that's great. I love that. Oh, sweet, that's cold. The three or so people I've played with lately at different intervals that just want to roleplay and not the other 60% of the game. One of them went dark after he realised this was definitely not one of those games. People like this cause me to get a bit miffed. But the other guy makes me makes my <laughs> makes me blood boil. <laughs> makes me bo- <laughs> makes me <laughs> blood boil. <laughs> Fuck's sake! Yeah, they're all sweet, but like, see when people show up to games and they don't know what they're getting into, yeah. and then it's like not really their sort of game. I don't really blame them. Yeah. If they just, you know, they just kind of vanish. Yeah. But let's see, what did this other guy get up to? The quirky guy of the group is playing the stupid character that likes bumbling in front of everyone and triggering traps. Loudest when it comes to his actions out of combat. Has a knack for trying to butt into each other's moments. About to get his shit kicked in by the party paladin after he casts control on him for touching the cleric. (laughs) 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 And has has the guy under some spell that makes him kneel motionless. Everyone who can get there can do something. Hopefully try their best to keep him alive. He leaves saying... Oh, it's fine, he can die. I don't want to do my own thing. Found out before this, he copied a character from some podcast or stream the whole way besides his name. Oh. I don't really mind about copying. They honest with you, I feel, like, if he, I, I feel like it's not directed towards me because I've, still, <laughs> I've, I've, I've actually copied No, I don't characters. mind people copying. So don't judge me, okay, guys? Don't judge me. I, I don't love. mind it, though. I know. I, I like if, you hear, my if you're hearing stories, I guess, and you, you really like the sound of a Yeah, or character. your concept. Like, or so. a concept, yeah, just... Work with them, yeah. I yeah. think I think it'd work, you know. Especially I, if you think it'll be fun. It, to play. it depends if you're. I've heard if, a lot of characters if, on like from the stories that we've done that I think sound pretty fucking. Yeah. But the good. problem is, are they a carbon copy, which is a name change? Yep. Yeah, does that matter? Yeah, I suppose you're going to be playing it differently. You're no you're playing what. it differently, and you're playing it with different people. Yeah, I suppose you don't really know what you're going to get into. I know. Yeah, I suppose. Let us know in the comments actually about that one because that's. What a... are your your views on stealing characters? <laughs> yeah, because I do that shit all the time. I know you do. <laughs> don't judge, okay? Party is guaranteed total party kill to a Hydra if we fight it head on. People won't run away without something leading the charge. Yell to run, and that I'll hold it off as I'm the fighter and have the most hit points or chance of holding it off. That guy tries to be a hero, even though there's zero way we can win, which then inspires everyone else to fight. Grip total party kills and he blames me for beating him into that situation. <laughs> well, did, did he? No, did he? He's like, no, no, I'll do this. Don't you worry, guys. I can handle it all. Don't yeah. you get, You know what I mean? Depends on how you went about it, I suppose, but like it's kind of bullshit yeah. to be like, You fucking got me, kitty! <laughs> Stop. Stop by there. Here's a fucking that guy journey for you. Started off as a rules lawyer who would read every player's handbook and dungeon master guide, and other rule books he could find cover to cover. Not too bad, but he did spur guide at other players with mistakes on their character sheets from time to time. I've kicked off that yeah. the fucking deck. Began to refer to his characters by build, stating alignment first for D&D character. Gave DMing for our group a go. Could only come up with fetch quests, where the solution to finding the item was some riddle which only made sense in his uh, head. Uh, fucking hate that. Every clue he gave us was a red herring. When we were inevitably stumped by these unsolvable riddles, he just shouted the solution at us like we were tra- like we weren't a trying. What a oh, dick. God. 
fucking loved making characters with strict moral codes, like paladins, for any reason and by any means necessary. See, this is the type of guy that gives paladins a bad name, and I like the paladins, okay? <laughs> I'm sick and tired of hearing people tell me that par- paladins are gay, okay? They're not gay. I like the paladins, okay? Now, don't... You're getting so emotional. <laughs> don't give me that. Yeah, okay, they might be fucking lawful stupid from time to time, but they've got hearts of gold. <laughs> <laughs> Just fuck off. Look, we sh- okay, you I should love- never butt yourself that mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I shouldn't have. But look, I love Muppets okay, guys. That's so good. Literally drove out our only female player by describing her character being mutilated despite her and the group's discomfort. What type of dismemberment uh, are we talking about here then? Well, okay, I'm going to assume it's only the bad type of dismemberment. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I was absolutely stunned when no one in our group wanted to play the games he ran anymore. Now here's the point where he crossed the fucking line, not even in game. In a comic book shop, waiting for other members of our group. Tells me I should read My Little Pony comics <laughs> because he thinks I would enjoy them. He doesn't read My Little Pony comics anyway. To what end? Don't tap the street. Don't tap the street. <laughs> oh, I haven't heard one of them in a while. Calls me and another player stupid. Calls himself a genius in the same breath. Oh no, no. Tells me I'm shit at both role playing and DMing. Tell him he is an ego problem. Looks at me like I just killed his firstborn. Grip arrives. On our way to the game. That guy asserts that there's no point in playing a D&D character that isn't chaotic evil. I should have quit the grip at that point because we played in a share house where he lived. Yeah, honestly, that would have been ideal. Uh, he the fuck just turns around and says, "You know what? You should read uh, My Little Pony." Like, I'm sorry, but they don't. But he doesn't even read it. Are, are you sure? So, about that? No, 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 no. no. I'm but telling listen, you, he did. How much he of did. an insult is that? You should read My Little Pony. You'll like it. And he doesn't even read it. Oh, how much of an is that, insult? Oh, is that what he said? I don't oh. know. But how much of a fucking insult yeah, is that? Yeah, that is that is a serious insult. You kind of look like you would enjoy My Little Pony. Yeah, give it a go, sure. Don't worry. Why do you read it? No, you just look like you would enjoy it. <laughs> That's a good, I might actually use that insult to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, I'm actually I'm stealing that one. Every time he was in a game after that was like this. Made characters antithetical to the setting. Always either threatening or trying to blackmail authority figures. Always attacking other player characters over the smallest of in-game disagreements. If he missed a session, he demanded some kind of compensation? Suck my balls. Fuck off. You miss a game. It's that's... your own fault if you miss a fucking game. You miss a fuck game. game. You miss a fuck game. And they get loot and you and, don't. Who gives you, a fuck? They get XP and you don't. You're Who lucky you're still in the group chat at this point, right? <laughs> no, this is IRL. They're going to do fucking like, comic books. I know, stuff. but like, would, would you not just like drop in the group chat and be like, arrange dates or yeah. times? Like, yeah, you know, like, yeah. Like, okay, that's, that's, that's fucking dangerous. <laughs> tried to hide his rolls from the rest of the table oh by God. picking up his dice and counting them, counting up his modifiers before anyone could see when he was close to feeling any kind of roll. Oh, so oh my see God, people like that, dick. they actually sort the fucking lives. Like, I don't mind someone like that like, is trying to add them up and maybe like they get it wrong they or whatever because you, you know what I mean you're putting in the modifiers all yeah, that I don't mind that I get that because I, I don't do quick maths <laughs> yeah quick maths ain't my thing either and like you know you don't know because like sometimes you need to wait for the DM to tell you it's like oh yeah no and you kind of just assume that's a hit because like you know it's like a 17 or something yeah you know but yeah no people that fudge dice schools mm. deserve fucking pit in hell and I definitely have never done that before a day in my life so uh, uh, yeah. trust me trust me I wouldn't do that <laughs> The rest of the group not calling out his shit and not being engaged enough to do anything except get into fights and kill things was the tipping point for me tapping out and not coming back. A year later, one of the guys from the share house asked me to run D&D for them again because no one wanted to run anything and that guy's games were fucking boring. I (laughs) I reflectively declined. With fuck off. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that's the only way I can do yes! that. Yes! Like, honestly, see, be honest with you, I do think, like, you know, see, whenever I come across people like this, and you don't automatically be like, no, I'm, I'm fine, I just don't want to play the game with you. I'm, yeah. Like, it's still I don't right. know why people just go, take go. it, though. I would just stand up, pick up my dice, um, whatever else, yeah, and, like, be all... see you motherfuckers but, later. But, but, if they didn't do it, then we wouldn't have these It's like nine o'clock stories. at night, sorry, I've got a dentist appointment. <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not that guy with the, the with the model. We did that in the story, the video. 
Yes, yeah, no, I was yes, like, I'll, yes. I'll, I'll yes. like that time for any of you guys on the podcast. It was a really good story where it was like a DD horror story, but the guys just said, you know what? They just pick up their shit and just left. When, it was really yeah. good. It was really good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and this thread is absolutely massive. So we'll probably get another two videos, yeah, maybe like more out of that. Yeah. Um, so you'll see them in the it's coming weeks. Thread. I really enjoy it. So yeah, like, so. I always love hearing about that guy stories. I know, anyway. I know. So if you have your own that guy story, put them in the comments below and let us read them. I might make a video of your own experiences. Yeah. But please, like. like Elaborate on them. Yeah, elaborate on because them. Because sometimes like, you get he like... Gay. <laughs> he gay. He... He fudge roll. He big poo poo. He, he, he got small pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you running? <laughs> Why are you running? <laughs> Why are you gay? You know, uh, but no, this... I, I love these types of wee ones. Like, you know, I, I like doing the longer stories, but sometimes I, I just like doing, like, wee short ones, and they're a lot of fun. Also, let us know what you think of the new audio, because I got myself a lapel microphone. So it Well, whenever like I say a lapel microphone, it's currently sellotape to his face. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll take a picture of it, and uh, I'll, I'll flash it up on screen <laughs> just so you guys can see what the setup looks like. But I think the audio sounds really good, and I'm really happy with that. Also, before we go... Check out all the links down below. All the links. And um, subscribe, because we are really close to 100,000. Woo-woo! And I will personally suck your dick. If you help us if get... If you're over 18. If you're over 18, <laughs> if you're over 18, I will suck your dick if you help us get to over 100,000. I don't know how I'm going to decide who, whose dick I'm going to suck. He going to suck a lot of but dick. But I'm going to suck a lot of dick. <laughs> um, well, maybe you make it a live stream start. <laughs> <laughs> for like, fuck this. It's like he's going on for too long. Hello. Hope you guys enjoy. Leave a comment down below. We'll see you later, all right? Bye. Bye.